Because there are, there are contrict, contradicting uh, uh, st uh, statements of Jesus, like when we read Ma um, uh, Matthew 13, he says that not even one iota of the law is going to be changed, meaning that he hasn't come to change the old command, the commandments of God. He didn't come to, 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 to build something new. He, he only came to uh, uh, fulfill the law. Basically, he's telling people, and the rich man's story as well, you know, you know about the rich man's story, where Jesus says clearly to, 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 to the man who came running to him, um, how can I reach uh, uh, everlasting uh, paradise? Yeah. And Jesus says to him, fulfill the commandments. Yeah. And, and it wasn't something which was new that he introduced. This concept of the church and, and okay. uh, subsequent men who came after, he did not, in his words, okay. say okay. that he said something in the contrary. Friend, you taught, you've, you've mentioned many interesting and valid points, yes. but just going back to the point about the establishment of the church, I know your view is, yeah. that, well, I mean, I'm implying from your view yeah. that we Catholics, we've changed the law. Yeah. So how can, you know, you quoting Matthew, how can we be, how can this be what we're saying? But if you just hold fire on that for a minute, on the, just on the statement from, Matt, from Matthew 16 there, yeah. it does clearly, to me, state, if not in isolation, that Jesus is establishing a church which has teaching authority and it's indestructible. I say that's the Catholic Church, but somebody might say, no, it's some other church which he established. But the testimony of that statement is, a church was established by Jesus. You can go on to say, well, Maybe so, but look, you've changed, the, you've changed the law, so you've done something wrong. Fair point, but that would mean I would go on to explain to you why we've not erred in that business of the law. You see, my explanation is that you know Jesus changes the law. The law of divorce. They come to him, the Pharisees, and they say, hey, hey, isn't it uh, quite proper for a man to give a writ of divorce to his wife? Jesus says, Moses allowed that for you because your hearts were hard. But I say to you, it wasn't like that from the beginning. No. A man shall not divorce his wife. But, but so he's, he's actually changed the law of Moses in the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of Mark. I don't have an argument against Jesus changing that particular law. He was a, based on the knowledge that I have of him, he was a messenger and he was sent by God. This is my belief. Okay. And he came to, 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 to make those people that lived at that time upright to change what they were doing from bad to good. And this is most probably what he wanted to change. But in terms of the commandments, he was circumcised. He worshiped in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane. He, he worshiped God. There were so many instances when he went and he saw the fig tree, he didn't have any knowledge. Okay. There's so many passages and verses yeah. which show me- Which show him as an obedient Israelite. As an obedient Jew. Yeah, but, Jew. Listen, yeah, but let's again, just keep focused yeah. on this point you were raising. Yes, yes. He, on the one hand, he's saying he's not come to change the law. Yes. On the other, he changes a major aspect of the law because it is the law of divorce. is not. It's not like a um, an evil thing to allow divorce. Okay. It's not evil at all. It wasn't a degradation. What was a degradation was to actually put away your so wife what, what because you what fancied something else. So what did Jesus say? Jesus said, yeah. Moses allowed this for you because your hearts were hard. Okay. So what did but I say, say to you, it wasn't like that from the beginning. Yeah. A man, sh I say to you, a man shall not divorce his wife. Okay. And he says, except in the case of infidelity. Now, that, the, the, the actual um, structure of that sentence is the cause of many, many um, interpretations. So I won't go into that. But the point, key point is, he has changed the law of Which Moses. Gosh, Matthew 19.9, I think. Um, forgive me, I think maybe Mark 10, but I'm not sure. But go to Matthew 19.9 if my memory does not fail me. Matthew 19.9. Yep. Now the sole purpose of me raising this is to show that when Jesus says he's not changing the law, you have to understand it in a particular way. It's not to be taken just on the face of it. One has to read these other things that he does and says. Yeah, he, he For example, says in, in Mark's Gospel, okay. there's a question about food. Okay. Now I know dietary issues are very important for you, well, they were for the Jews and they still are today. But for him, he said he declared all foods clean. No, Paul did. Don't, don't say... No, no, reading Mark. Mark what? Oh, Mark. 
not 10. You see, you need a Protestant here to give you the actual verses no, no, when I'm actually a Catholic who doesn't remember. This is not factual. What you're saying is not factual. Paul says that he's come to... Hold on. That Jesus changed this. Jesus hold on, hold on. Told me to I'll show that. you, I'll show you. But I have to find the, uh, the right verse. Well, so you're saying Jesus is at Paul? You don't know what he is, but he's very but listen, we... Show it to me. Yeah, yeah listen, this is... What is still the fig tree? I can't meet you. It's still the fig tree. What is still the fig tree? Basically, he saw the fig tree. So basically, my argument is, there was many, many things he did not know. He said, I don't know the last hour. I don't know many things. He did not know that the, 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 the tree was uh, not in season. It was not in season. <laughs> well, that, that, no, that, no, that, not quite. Not that, quite. That, 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 is, um, that is not the fact. The fact is that is, it is... Um, <laughs> Let let us not complicate the issue by yeah. sticking with the divorce because that's big enough. No, but, but, if you've but, got but a change there. The way. Oh no, but we, we established it. He changes the law. So law itself. The law. the law of divorce is changed. You've got there, have you? Okay. What your argument is, is he's changed the laws, yes? It was a law. Law. Yeah. yeah. But not laws. When we talk about laws, there's many instances where in many, uh, uh, in, in, in Matthew, Matthew in, in Mark, 15. Sorry, which one? Is it? Matthew 15, you say, that which goes into a man's mouth, 15, that which comes out. Thank you very much for that, Michael. Matthew 15, you know. Then some Pharisees and teachers yes. of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, why do you disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands. It was to do with washing the hands. No, it had nothing to do, yeah, I've read this. Uh, uh, hands before they eat. Oh, 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 you put it like that? Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Need no, because I've read this verse. Oh, do you think we have it? You're, you're, you're being aggressive. I'm I, not, I don't know I why you're being aggressive. I don't know why I'm you're being aggressive. I'm not. Yeah, you're I'm being not, very I'm aggressive. Being condescending. You didn't even Jesus replied. You said it wasn't there because you didn't I haven't read Oh, yeah, 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 you got it, yeah. yeah. No, um, no, just read the first part there. Jesus replied, why do you break the Father and mother and see what is their father and mother. But you say these boys who don't know what I'm Yeah. I'm a Catholic who doesn't know his Bible. Yes. That's it. That's the very thing. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about these people honor my with their lips, okay? Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen, understand, what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth that is what defiles them. The disciples came to him and asked, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? He replied, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled by the roots. Leave them, they are blind guides. If the blind guy lead the blind, both will fall into pit and pit. Peter said, Explain the power of God to us. Are you still so dull? Jesus asked them. Don't you see what whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then goes out of the body? But the things that come out of the person's mouth come from the heart, and that this is the, the, what defiles them. But that of the heart came the thoughts murder. You don't need to read further, really. No, 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 you have to read everything. These are what defile a person, but eating the unwashed, but eating with unwashed hands does not defile them. So the whole discussion is not to do with eating swine or, or, or <laughs> lamb or whatever it may be. Are it's, you really seriously trying to say when Jesus you, said it's about your hands that it's about no, no, your hands no, 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 he no. said what goes did into you, a man doesn't no, matter. No, 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 wait wait. Okay go the, on. the Jews at the time yeah. they believed that to, to, to purify your food you had to wash your hands and they, it was a certain way you wash your hands mm -hmm. and Jesus is saying there are more important things than these practices. That yeah but they're part of the law. They're part but, of the law. But, but what I mean by part of the law... Ablutions are part of the law. But you're, you're, you're failing to understand what yeah. I'm, my argument is. My yeah. argument is, Jesus did not come to change or nullify the laws, such okay. as, for example, the eating of swine. But for how example, do you know? Not, not, how, not, not, I ask you how you know. Because, okay, I, I, I know by, number one, he was circumcised on the sixth day, based on what Mark Matthew says. He told many, many men on numerous occasions, and I can bring all of the times, he said, make sure you keep to the commandments from his own mouth. Uh, no, you, you gave me one. Ah, you gave one. The, the, the rich young man, he said, keep the commandments, okay, and I'll he enumerates the commandments, and they're the one. commandments of the one. Ten Commandments. He doesn't get it, give no, any others. I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. There's many occasions, but I'll give you another But that's one. still, you've still got to show that he refused to allow the eating of, of pigs. No, but as I said to you. Because you could you, 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 the, the problem or prunes yeah. or, or cheeseburger. No, no, no. This, this <laughs> argument. I, I understand what Jesus is saying right. in this that's argument. Yes. He's saying, yes. the Jews at the time, yes. what they were doing was they were sinning a lot. 
but at the same time they were keeping to certain commandments, things which were not needed to be kept, such as the washing of the hands. And he's saying there are more important things that these people are not following, which okay. is, for example, I'm not going to... That's what you take from that. No, it's not what so you... So when he said that which goes into your mouth does not defy you, you've ignored that, you're concentrating on the, on the hand washing. Yeah. But it's to do with hand washing. No, it's that's not. The, I've read it. And you've read it incorrectly. But that's your opinion. Yes. So that's your opinion. Yeah, if you say... But if he says... Six, you would be yeah. wrong, not an opinion. But if he Jesus says he, here... Doesn't he say that which goes into a man's mouth does not defy him? That means if I if I eat bacon, it does not defile me according to Jesus. You're reading it wrong. Oh, you're wrong. Well. Now hold on. You you've all right. All right, my friends. My friends. You are wrong. My friends, we have to we have to park this then, don't we? Because we're clearly at an impasse. If we read it as I can eat bacon because Jesus says it won't defile me, and you say bacon will defile you, despite Jesus saying what goes into a man's mouth does not defile him, we just have to leave that one for now. I tell we have you, to move on, don't we? Repent. Look, listen to this, right? I'll listen. Jesus said, only by repenting to people not perish. Well, that's, that's the, that's the repenting. No, that's... Wait, one second. I'll, I'll get that verse. Because I'm only using your, your Bible. Okay, I'm, not you using the Quran. The I'm not using the okay, Old Testament. Yeah, no, using worries. no worries. No worries. No worries. No yeah. worries. And then in the vision to Peter, he tells him everything he could eat. Yes. Yes. We haven't got to that yet. You can eat anything. Don't worry, we won't pop your ball. Okay, Matthew 5.17, what does Jesus say? Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. Now the prophets were Moses and what Moses preached. He said, yeah. Jesus saying, I have not come to ab abolish yeah. the, 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 the laws or the yeah. prophets. Just to modify I them. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Yeah. For I truly say to you, Till heaven and earth pass away, not an iota. Yeah. Not, not a iota, jot, not a tittle. Yes. We'll now, pass from the law yes. until all is accomplished. Okay, now you've read that and you've read these other things. You've read about uh, abolition of the law of divorce, allowing of eating of things, allowing of not having to wash your hands. He's clearly modifying the law. So that's all we're Catholics are doing. We've modified the law. That's all we've done. We've taken the principle in the New Testament and we've modified the law. So, so the church so then... I'll give you another verse. So, well, there's another no verse. need, is there really? Matthew 5, 17. Whoever therefore breaks one of these command, okay, uh, commandments and teaches men to shall be called the least yes. in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does not teach, but whoever does yes. and teaches them, he shall be great in the kingdom of heaven. But I shortly, I say to you, till heaven... Yeah, so basically he's saying to you, Paul, Paul, who's... Paul, what did Paul do? He came and he tried to change. No, he did change. But hold on, you've got Jesus himself modifying the law in the verses we've said. Even you agreed he's modified the law about ablutions before eating. You say they're trivial. Listen, I don't, I don't disagree with you, but they're part of the law which he is modifying. If he establishes a precedent whereby you can modify the law, the question that's then... That's a big, a big leap. You're jumping a lot. Because what you're doing there is, you're making an assumption based on this, that yes, I can eat swine, or I don't need to circumcise. No, no, no. That's a big leap. Actually, you do you know what I'm doing? You agree? Do you know what I'm doing? Yes. Here's my assumption. If you're allowed to modify the law yes. in a little thing, yeah. The question is, how far can you go in modifying the law? So, so now, we, in, say, in, prin say, yeah. in so principle, we don't. In principle, we don't know. We have to. You said you were going to say, and you generously won't let me speak. I say, in principle, I don't know how far we can go, how far we should go, how far we go, and we're beyond the limits of what we should do. And I say that's true of any man. Step in the Catholic Church to tell us what the limits are. And that's what it does.